And we're back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. This is your man, Warrior. Today's going to be Cantina Battle Store. It's going to be what to buy with that Cantina energy that you get when you, the Cantina credits, when you uh, do the Cantina Battles, you'll earn these. You also earn these when you do mod battles. And I will tell you that the mod battles earn you a significantly higher amount of these cantina credits so if you are looking at getting cantina credits quickly and you are not currently farming any particular character or have no desire to i highly suggest doing mod battles is they're going to net you a much higher amount of the cantina credits that you're looking for now this video is going to be uh it's going to go over every single character briefly uh, that you could possibly get from the uh, cantina battle store and it's gonna be a priority list. Now there's the top three, which I highly recommend you do in that order, the top three, and the rest are gonna to fall to the wayside and you're gonna to have to pick your strategy and I'll give you suggestions and tips on the strategies and who to go for and why. But the uh, there's a lot of questions over who to get here, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you where, well, actually tip of the day. First tip of the day is if you look at my regular energy, I'm at 174 of 135. I let it grow today to 129 or 135. And then I ended up collecting my activity, your extra energy you get, the 45. So I'm a little bit over that. And I'm holding on to that because we are about to do, uh, Guild Activities is gonna switch over in 49 minutes to uh, dark side battles. If you look next activity in the middle, it says dark side battles. And so as soon as we're done with this, which of course I'm tied for first uh, for this, we're maxing out our benefits. And of course you can see we did 559 of 375. We maxed the tier seven out. We uh, get the rewards and then we're gonna go to dark side battles this evening. And I wanna make sure I get a jump start on those dark side battles so I'm saving up my energy. Now back to Cantina. When you play these, you're gonna you're gonna farm, you know, individuals such as Jawa, Genosian Soldier, you know, maybe you're farming your old Ben, but you're gonna get these Cantina credits, and the Cantina credits you're gonna go into Redeem and you're gonna go into the store. I'm going to go ahead and start this countdown list so you can see what I would highly suggest you get. So the very first character, and this is truly a non-negotiable, if you talk to anybody, the very first and most important character is going to be Qui-Gon Jinn. Qui-Gon Jinn, obviously it says he's a versatile attacker, generating extra attacks, but he does so much more. He will take away the taunt from uh, uh, a tank by smacking them and taking away that buff, which is great. So that way, if you have them on your team, you don't have to worry about Ray being protected by the tank. It's why so many people are doing two tanks. So that way they can, uh, when you take the taunt from the first tank, the other tank will take over in the taunting to try to protect their Ray. Uh, but Qui-Gon Jinn is phenomenal. He's easy to gear. He only has 360 purples and he has a really great kit. What I mean by kit is his abilities. Uh, if you come over here and I'm from here on out, I'm going to start going through them. Uh, in here, here's Qui-Gon Jinn. His kit to the left, his attacks and his abilities, that's his kit. His kit is phenomenal. Um, he, he's a great leader, although I, I don't use him for a leader, but he'll give your Jedis tons of speed. But the humbling blow is great and it takes away the taunt. His quick strike will, once I Omega this, uh, give the 30% turn meter reduction 65% of the time, which will be phenomenal. And he gains turn meter right now, which is great. And then of course, Harmonious Assault, which is awesome. He'll call an ally to assist and that assisting ally deals even more damage than they normally would. So that's even better than say Genosian Soldier's um, attack. Now his goes um, a cooldown of two, just like G GS, but GS can have his Omega and make it only one. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, I would highly recommend Qui-Gon Jinn as your number one. Number two in the Cantina shipments is Fives. Fives is arguably one of the top three best tanks in the entire game. Sunfac, who I use, is my personal favorite, but Fives is definitely someone I just started to develop uh, about three weeks ago. He leveled up exceptionally quick. I was able to max him out pretty quickly as well as I got him to gear nine. Now it stops me because I'm only level 76 and this one requires a level 80 and this one requires, well, actually I could do this one right here and I think I could do this one right here, but I've got a lot of characters that need destroyed caller to include Sunfac and I am waiting 
for this droid collar for Sunfax specifically. These are called gear raid parts. They're very difficult to get and they do create a bottleneck for leveling up your characters. But I got fives to gear level nine, which isn't bad. He's a level 75, I could put him to 76 and uh, he's seven star he does really well i do need to obviously give his attacks and abilities some love i have very little into them but i haven't placed him into any of my arena teams yet or anything but i just decided to develop him but he is a phenomenal tank and he's getting a lot of uh special attention now and the reason for that is be specifically because they did the armor adjustment and everybody got a switch on their armor where the armor was being compressed significantly and now they've made it where the armor rating is working and working properly. So when you come down here and you look at his armor, you can see that he currently for my character has about a 35% armor rate. That'll go up to maxed out completely around 40% and then of course you can add mods to go even higher. That percent is a percentage of damage that he ignores. So if you can imagine putting another 10% on a maxed out fives, he could ignore up to 50% of the damage being applied to him. That is extremely uh, important. Now. He's extremely annoying, especially if you have a team that stealths because he's going to sit there. He's the only one that's not stealth. They're going to smack him, and of course, he's going to retaliate. He has a phenomenal uh, tactical awareness where he it does go up to 85% chance to counter in plus 50% damage, so I just need to go up one more to max this 85% counter out. And anytime you can get a character to counter, what you're doing is creating extra attacks. And his attack when he counters would be the blasters, which inflicts speed down. And obviously speed down is a debuff. And it also, um, for someone like Ray, is going to make her not hit as hard. And it's just great to have a basic attack, do debuffs on the characters and slow them down. And we know turn meter is a big deal in the game. So fives would be my number two. I would highly recommend fives. Number three in the list, and this would be the third one I would evolved to and it's the, currently the third one I'm working on is Old Daka. Old Daka, I've got her almost to six stars, is a surprisingly good stunner in the game. She again needs some love over in the attacks and abilities but her basic has the ability to revive a character that's been killed as well as she has the serve again to bring them back. So a couple of ways to bring characters who have died back. I cannot tell you how many times in the Galactic War I came across a team that had old Daka, very powerful team, and by the time I killed Rey, their old Daka would revive Rey, and then I'd end up losing because I spent the whole time trying to take Rey out instead of old Daka. It almost makes you prioritize her before Rey, and that's just absolutely aggravating. Um, plus, she's a healer, not a phenomenal healer, but she does the job. Uh, but old Daka is going to become critical when you go to do your dark side battles. I was struggling on this eighth section, and I started trying to level my old Daka up, and as I got her up, even with her abilities at like level three, it wasn't even that high, her and my Royal Guard, and his abilities are only at like level three, both of them were the reason why I was able to get through every single one of these levels, and with the Ewoks, it's hypercritical that you stun, uh, especially when they're going stealth. So I would highly recommend that as your third individual. Now the rest of these characters that we're gonna talk about after, here we go, Qui-Gon's number one. I say that Fives is number two. And again, remember, this is my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. And Old Daka, number three. She's the one I'm currently working on. After that, you have to decide, those three you need. But after that, you need to decide what is your strategy? Where are you going in the game? So there's kind of a two-way tie in my eyes for the number fourth position. And that would be either Poe, Dameron, who's a great tank. He's a, a resistance char character as well, and we all know that resistance is important if you want to get the speed mods. And speed mods are arguably one of the best mods you will want to get in the game. And so because of that, you'll want to get resistance characters. So Poe Dameron, he's one of the fastest tanks in the game, if not the fastest out the gate. And he isn't very strong, but he does have some really good weapons in his kit and when I say kit I mean his abilities he's not too difficult to uh, get up to but he has great synergy with droids so if you're going to do a droid team or you want to do the, the rebel team or you want to do both of those he's going to be useful in many of those you're not going to use him much in the arena 
but you're definitely going to use him in other aspects of the game. Now, if you're not going to go droids or you're not worried about rebels quite yet because you're not worried, you're not that far along to where you can even handle any of that, you will probably be in a guild and you will probably be doing the new raid, I would hope. And the new raid is going to, from what I understand, really be droid-centric. And so because of that, the tie for fourth place goes to Jawa Scavenger. I know almost everyone that I know has either maxed out all their Jawas or are working on maxing out their Jawas. Plus, the potency mods require all the Jawas, and then there's just some phenomenal synergy with Jawas, specifically with droids, and then of course against droids. So I would say Jawa Scavenger is great. I am not doing Poe Dameron as we speak. Um, after I get old Daka finished, I am going to move up to my Java Sca Jawa Scavenger and I'm going to finish him off. Uh, he's at a five star, I believe, right now, or four star going to five star. Either way, he's a tied with Poe for, for number four. Number five, and again, these aren't, the, after the first three, these are all just suggestions that get slightly skewed. You can rearrange these last ones based off of your personal preference. But number five for me would be the Hoth Rebel Scout. And the reason is he's underlooked. Uh, a lot of people don't know or realize who he is or what he does. I actually just unlocked Hoth Rebel Scout this morning in my other video that I did on the chromium pack openings and I, I just unlocked him this morning I have done nothing with him obviously from this morning um, but I got him to a uh, four star so I'm gonna I'm gonna hopefully very soon get him leveled up and the reason is again he's going to work with uh, the rebels and he's gonna help me get my speed mods down the road when I'm working on those teams and so if you're gonna be doing a rebel team or you want to get the speed mods he's definitely a character to go with kind of in the same idea of Hoth Rebel Scout. The other idea would be you want to get Yoda. And so Ahsoka Tano would be on there. Now I've got her to five star, going to almost six stars. Um, I don't need Ahsoka. I have plenty of Jedi. I think I have eight Jedi maxed out uh, at my level. So I don't really need, but Ahsoka is a good character all around. Um, I don't really use Ahsoka. So like I said, these, these, uh, these are just my opinions and what I'm doing, but if you need some Jedi and you need to farm quickly a Jedi, this is definitely a way that you can get five shards, a pop, and Ahsoka is not hard to gear 450 purples. Um, Ahsoka is slow, but she instantly buffs herself, um, which makes her fast um, at the very beginning uh, until she you know, takes damage and then she can regain those when a character dies. But anyway, she's initially kind of slow, but she does a self buff. So she's pretty fast uh, initially right out the gate. She's one of the first to go. She's a great kind of self healing uh, Jedi and um, she's a great one to have in your toolkit. But I would, for me personally, because I have plenty of Jedi go, get her after I got the Hoth Rebel Scout. Hoth Rebel Scout, by the way, is a very powerful DPS or damage per second character, someone who lays down a lot of damage, you know, anywhere from, you know, five to 8,000, which is a nice solid hit, a very consistent damage each and every time. And then for number seven, we've already gone through Qui-Gon 5's Old Daka. The tie for fourth was Podamron or Jawa Scavenger. And then you got Hoth Rebel Scout and Ahsoka. The next one would be Kind of a toss up between first order officer down here. If you were going for an empire team, this would definitely be a way to get your empire team up there. And he's definitely one of the few characters you've got that you can, that you can use to do this. Uh, 520 purples, so uh, not super difficult. But the other person you could go for is, is Boba Fett. Boba Fett is a scoundrel so if you're going to do scoundrels and, and and actually between the two i'd probably do boba fett first and this is why boba fett is a scoundrel and as you know you got to get scoundrels for both a scoundrel mission that they have you do as well as being able to do the mod battle that has scoundrels in it so he's not really that good boba fett is not but boba fett is going to fulfill that role of having somebody in your scavenger team. So let's look at the next one. Oh, and by the way, Boba Fett, his kit, you know, the, the things he can do uh, are not that impressive. His ability block does not go through all the time. You've really got to max him out to see his full potential. 
But again, he's a scoundrel. He's pretty easy to farm. So that would be someone that you might want to consider. Next on the list would be uh, Stormtrooper. And Stormtrooper is just kind of a solid Empire character. I, Stormtrooper sucks for gearing, honestly. 830 purples is on the high end. Um, but he is a tank, and he does taunt for three turns. I think he's the only other tank that taunts for three turns. Uh, of course, Stormtrooper Han taunts for three turns. But a, a three-turn taunt is pretty good, and he is a tank, pretty strong. So, you know, if you're doing that Empire and you need somebody, the Stormtrooper is a solid pick. Again, he's way on the bottom of the list, number nine, just due to the fact that he's uh, not a critical character and you're only going to use him in probably one or two spots of the game. Number 10 would be, because there's only, you know, 13, 14 characters total in here, uh, would be Jedi Knight Guardian. One of the worst Jedi in the entire game that you can farm. I'm putting him here putting her here whatever it here um but just does not have a very good kit uh does not have very good special abilities so just not a very good option uh but the only character worse in here to farm would be mob enforcer again it's a scoundrel so you could you know go for mob enforcer even before the jedi knight guardian if you needed another scoundrel um they have thermal detonators we all know thermal detonators suck unless you have um I don't know, a lot of luck because they just do not work very well. They're just not good. There's no taunt. He is a tank, a scoundrel tank classified as, but there's just no taunt. And he's just an overall crappy character. So I would highly suggest not doing Mob Enforcer unless you absolutely have to get another scoundrel for your team. And then the last, the 13th and 14th spots are these ability materials. These ability materials are going to come, you're going to get them, you're going to place them on your characters, you're going to get plenty. These cantina uh, credits, or yeah, the cantina credits that you get, do not come in as easily as some of the other credits in the game, such as your squad arena tokens. You get way more squad arena tokens, as well as you know your galactic war tokens. You're going to get quite a few of those. So because they're a little more difficult to get, you really need to make sure you're strategizing and really doing your best. So do not do the ability materials. They're just a waste of time. So this is the deal. I would suggest absolutely getting Qui-Gon Jinn as number one, getting your fives as number two, getting old Daka, and then after old Daka, do your Jawa scavenger. And then from there, it kind of depends if you want to go uh, on mod battles and you want to start building mod battle teams or if you want to go and build some characters for the raid or if you want to go uh, and get some Jedi for Yoda event or if you want to do a droid team and you want to start building up some characters for droids. That is my review of the Cantina Battles. By the way, I started this channel a week ago today and I just did it out of curiosity to see if anybody would be interested in some of these videos and if they would help individuals. Uh, I have uh, quite a few people who subscribed. I appreciate that very much. That means that you're getting something out of these videos. That makes me very happy as that was my desire. And today we officially went over a thousand views with my videos. I did have over a thousand views on all the videos combined. So that's pretty exciting for me. Again, this was a test to see if this information was wanted out there and it looks like it is. So I will continue to do these videos. Again, as always, if you find a video you like, you can share it. You can like the video as well to let me know. And you can subscribe to my channel and you'll get all of my newest and greatest videos that I make going forward. Again, I appreciate everyone and I hope that you guys have a wonderful evening. Warrior out.